Hey cuties, I'm Lanikia and you're watching What Happened on the Soaps. This is the Days of Our Lives edition. Um, on a, Today is Wednesday, June the 29th, 2022. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this one... Mm, I barely wrote anything down. I guess that gives it a... I'm going to give it a 7.5. Like, there were some people that I really liked and I paid attention to their scenes. And there was other people that I had to rewind. I was like, girl, you didn't even watch this scene. How are you going to review something you didn't watch? So I had to rewind it just so I could get it. All right, let's start off with, um, let's get, um, Chad, Chad and Jennifer. So I really enjoyed their scenes because Chad is really acting. I'm like, next year you should be up for some type of Emmy. But, um, so he is at the house and JJ comes, comes by and they embrace and they bond over just, you know, can't, not believing that Abigail is gone and just the pain and their hurt. He asked him how is, um, ja I'm not going to hold you long on this, y'all. He asked him how is Jack and Jennifer, and he says, oh, I know, guys, that's a stupid question. And JJ was like, no, 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 you know, they're not good. But then there's a knock on the door, and he said, that's probably them. And Chad says, let me get it. And he gets the door, and, you know, Jennifer just embraces him. Because you know what? Abigail and Chad, you know, they went through some things. But at the end of the day, her family knows that that man loved her. You know what I mean? They know that, you know, yes, they went through some things, and he did wrong, but she loved him, and he loved her. And so, you know, they're, they're just obviously he is just broke down hurt like every scene we see with him is crying but that's what it is like she just passed so they say that they had been at the um funeral home making arrangement and he's like oh my god i'm sorry i should have been helping y'all with that and they said no all we want you to do is just take care of the children and take care of yourself so um they're talking and everything about uh, you know the arrangements and and you know and then they say well we have to pick a dress and chad just he can't do it he said i can't go into that room i had to go in there with rafe um but he's he, you know he he can't and so they said that's okay we'll go in and do it and so jennifer asks you know have you been eating have you eaten anything and he says no and she says you have to eat you have to keep yourself strong you know and so she tells jj because jj said i'm gonna stay with him um, so she tells JJ, you know, make sure he gets something to eat, make sure, you know, he's taking care of himself and then Jack and, and JJ talk and they, you know, it's just the same thing. They're just in disbelief that all of this is going on. So, but Jack and Jennifer leave because they're going over to, um, the Demira mansion to pick out a dress for the funeral service for Abigail to wear. So JJ and Chad continue to talk and he says, I know, you know, you were not a fan of me. You thought she deserved better and she did. And JJ said, nope, nope. Because at the end of the day, you loved her. And if you were good enough for Abigail to keep choosing, and loving then you were good enough to me and he said my dad now you know they only had one son but you you have a brother because jj asked him do you want me to get the damaras or one of your brothers over and he said no i want you because you know you know what it, what i'm feeling you know and so um, they just bond and it was a, it was a sweet moment. And so then Jack and Jennifer go over to the Demera mansion and, and they're just like, Jennifer says, I see why he couldn't come into the room. Cause you see all these effects, you know, that they're a married couple would have their pictures and just their, just the whole space. And she was like, I, I understand. I, I don't think I could do this, Jack, but he helps her through it. And she picks out a dress that she said, um, Jennifer was living with her and she, didn't want to just have a good day. She didn't want to think about Chad because she was mad at him, you know, after he had did her wrong. And she just wanted to have a good day of shopping and, and eat and going out to lunch. And she found a dress and she said, Chad, she, you know, she said, don't even bring up Chad's name. But Jennifer found a dress, um, excuse me, Abigail found a dress and she was like, Chad would love me in it. And Jennifer said, in that moment, I knew, okay, mama, I knew she was going to, um, forgive him and everything and she said and then when we came back to the house chad was there you know and, and jack said you should tell chad that story one day and so they picked out the address and everything and that's it with y'all with them y'all i don't want to um go on too long because it's just so sad like, like it's just so sad but the acting is so great that you can't help but want you know want to watch it 
Um, so then, child, why are they up in there morning picking out dresses? EJ and Bella over there and they're gonna hit the sheet between the sheets. Ah, ooh, I'm not singing this right. Okay, but anyways, Isley brother, but two Isley brothers between the sheets and everything. And then she gonna get up and she's EJ said, I know you you you're complicated and everything. What's going on? And she says, I love what we did. You know, I like me. I love being with you. Yada yada yada. But I feel guilty. Because even though she's legally separated, she's still I mean, she not to she still has that Sean is my husband. You know, I, we're legally separated. Technically, she can be doing this and everything, but she just feels guilty. And he just says, we talked about this and before we got started. And he says, I don't want to think about them. Uh, he said, because even feeling guilty and thinking about it, it's us thinking about them. I want us to focus on us. And she said, I can't stay here. And he's just like, we're just going to take it one day at a time and all that. I'm not going to hold you long on them. And that's what it is with them. Child, while all this is going on, they, oh, I hate that I do that. I hate that. While all of this is going on, Sean and Jan are at the hospital, right? And Jen said, I can't believe they didn't let them see the baby. Because remember, they was going down to see the baby. But the, I guess they wouldn't let them do it. She said, I know you won't let them send me back before I get to hold the baby, you know, to prison. And and, and so she says, Sean, I, I don't know how she did it. I'm going to be honest with you. One minute I was watching it. I looked away and looked back up. And she was laying it on Sean. I said, girl, what are you doing? And Sean pushed her off. He said, Jan, what, what are you doing? She says, I know, I know you feel the attraction or something too, Sean. And she kissed him again and like he throwing her off of him. And here come Chloe and Brady walking in. And Brady said, Well, Jan, it looks like you've recovered. <laughs> so then Jan is like, What the hell are y'all doing here? <laughs> and they say, um, Brady tells Sean, Hey, can I speak to you in private? It's important. And Chloe says, I'll keep um, Jan company. And so Brady talking to Sean, and he's like, y'all, you need to, like, let this thing, What what's this thing with you and Jan? You need to let all that go and focus on Belle and work on your marriage and yada, yada, yada. And Sean says, it's Belle. Like, you need to be telling her that. She said, he was like, I didn't get any, um... I didn't get any understanding when it came to me thinking I was making love to my wife. I didn't get any understanding into me not knowing that um, Jan was pregnant. I didn't get any understanding. It's also, it's all on Belle. You need to be talking to your sister, not me. And I said, Sean, you get on my nerves though, because you do be making excuses. And some of this stuff with Jan, you could have handled it a different way. But you right too. It's, it is a little bit on Belle. But why Belle got to, uh, like y'all, you know how she feels about Jan. And you were making decisions without talking to Belle about them, knowing she was already living. And then when she gets to the point where she want to be with EJ and all that kind of stuff, I mean, I don't know what to say because I'm really not on Sean's side. <laughs> I'm not on Sean's side in this. Like, you could have handled things differently. And I like Belle and EJ as a couple. <laughs> I do. I do. So I don't care. <laughs> so then we see Jan and Chloe talking and Jan is just like, um, I did the one thing that Belle couldn't do. I gave him a son and we have that bond and connection forever. It's not my fault. Belle couldn't do it. And Chloe was like, that's messed up to say even for you. And she was like, well, it's the truth though. And because Chloe was just like, you know, that man is in love with Belle and all that kind of stuff. And she says, um, shh. What you call it? Uh, Jan said, he know I'm going to be loyal to him. And she said, he can't say the same about Belle. Look at Philip, the guy in Maine. I said, well, dang. And and everything. And I'm like, I can't say nothing to Belle. <laughs> I can't say nothing. Except, well, they was doing just fine. And your old trickety self wants to go up in there. And, and you, you did this. And baby... Pause right there. No, we're going to keep going. And so you did this, and <laughs> Chloe couldn't say nothing either to defend her friend. Because <laughs> Chloe remembered the uh, conversation she had with Belle and Belle telling her about EJ or whatever. She was like, mm, whatever, Jay. <laughs> I 
<laughs> like, yeah, girl, let's go because we can't defend our friend. <laughs> let's go. And so, anyways, uh, Sean comes back up in there and, and Chloe leaves. And Chloe and Brady talking. He said, I need to go talk to my sister. She said, How did that go? And he's, he was like, I need to go talk to. No, actually, Jan is acting like she's so upset about everything that Chloe telling her. She was like, I'm going to tell Sean how you treated me. And, Bill, and Chloe was just like, I don't care. So she walks up on Sean and Brady um, and Sean, as Sean is leaving. And she says, so that didn't go well. And he was like, no, but I need to talk to my sister. And she was like, no, I talked to her in the morning. He said, no, I, I mean, I need to talk to her tonight to, you know, try to fix this. And she said, no, talk to her in the morning. <laughs> and Brady said, what you trying to say? She said, I ain't saying anything. I'm just saying, don't go over there tonight. Talk to her in the morning. And he said, that son of a bitch. <laughs> Your sister grown. She did it on her own, sir. So anyways, we see uh, Jan goes back. I mean, Sean goes back in there with Jan. And she she all in the bed. And she just fine. But as soon as he come in there, she all upset. <laughs> You won't believe the horrible things Chloe was saying. He said, yeah, yeah. Uh, and she said, no, you need to tell Brady to keep her away from me. He was like, yeah, yeah, I'll, do, I'll handle that. He said, but Jan, you can't be doing what you did, like kissing me and all that kind of stuff. That's not going to happen here. And she says, she says, Brady, um, I didn't know it until after I kissed you, but now I know how you feel about me, and we're going to be a family, because you care about me. I, I'm paraphrasing. She ain't say all this, but that's what I heard. Uh, we're going to be a family, because you do care about me, and you want to be with me. Sister, can I do these videos with the people? But and and you care about me and you want to be a family with me, so it, we're all we're going to be a family. We're going to be together. I said, God. This girl is crazy. I said, now, Jan, I saw this man push you away. I didn't see him come towards you or whatever. And she said, but he did. That's what I saw. I said, well, okay, girl. And so then we see um, Evan is talking to Orpheus. And he is letting um, Evan know how he had a child. He said, you remember you slept with Jan. And Evan, Evan couldn't even remember it. How you didn't remember that? I don't understand but anyways he did sleep with jen um she was all upset and she was i said why are the men and women just walking around like i i've never been in prison but i don't see this happening where men and women can just walk around this freely that's just like we ain't always in the rec room um in the visitor's room just chilling out i'm like y'all supposed to be in prison lockdown prison but it's a soap, and I'm going to go with y'all. So, uh, Jan and Evan meet up or whatever when she go to prison. And, you, you know, and so she she um gets with him. And she sleeps with him because she he was like, she was like, I just lost the love of my life and all that. So, she sleeps with him. Now, Jan, of course, I think she did this already knowing she was trying to get pregnant. So, then Orpheus comes in later on. I guess a few weeks later or whatever. And she tells him, I'm waiting on good news. And, you know, she tells him she's pregnant. He says, who's the father? She said, it's a cop. And he said, you must be sillier than you than you look. Who's the cop or whatever? She said, Sean Brady. He said, that's a lie. He said, um, I know who the baby, who the child's daddy is. And she said, how do you know that? He said, I know everything that goes on in these walls. And so she told him to leave him alone, leave her alone. And he said, do you know who I am? And she said, no, just somebody mopping the floors. Cause he was at, um, and he said, no, I'm Orpheus. And then she got scared and he said, but I'm going to use this to my advantage. So yeah, I'm going to help you or whatever you want Sean and I need a favor, but he won't tell, um, Evan what the favor is that he's needing out of Jan or anything all he tells him and sister calm down all he tells him is that um the favor he needs the favor and everything oh my gosh um so so he's gonna he helped jans like switch the paternity and everything so that sean will think that the baby is his and evan says what what is it why like why would you betray your son he says she don't know you my son or whatever she don't even know that and i say well what's going on orpheus i want to know too and i will days of our, our days of our lives must keep their spoilers on lock because uh, ow sister because i hadn't heard this one i said where have i been i don't remember this i don't remember this y'all tell me uh, what, what you think and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and i will see you tomorrow um on another episode all right bye